Hello, I'm Bev Burgess. I'm here with my co-author, Tim Shercliffe, and together we've written a book about account-based growth and how to really drive sustainable value with your most important customers. At the heart of the book is something called the 80-20 rule, and to understand that, we have to go back to the late 19th century and to an Italian economist called Vilfredo Pareto. He was in his garden one day, and he realised that 80% of the peas were coming from 20% of his plants. And he thought, OK, this is an interesting phenomena. He then looked at wealth held by Italian families and English families, and guess what? He found the same pattern. 80% of the wealth held by 20% of the families. Much later, Joseph Duran used the same thinking in the total quality movement. And in the late 90s, Richard Koch wrote about this and, and how 20% of salespeople drive 80% of sales, 20% of customers, 80% of complaints. So we thought maybe this applies to accounts, didn't we? We did. Richard Koch popularised really the 80-20 rule uh, in business, particularly business to business. And the fascinating thing about this is that not only does 80-20 apply in many, many data sets, but it's also fractal. Fractal means it repeats itself. So within the 20% that drives 80%, there's another 20% driving the 80% and so on. And if you do the maths, uh, if you do it three times, you end up with just about 1% driving half the business. So we thought, well, we should do some research ourselves into B2B companies and see whether this phenomenon really holds true. So we did some research with 65 companies earlier this year and found that it's not quite 80-20 exactly, but it's very close, 3.5% of customers are driving 50% of the revenue on average. But on average, so some of this is more skewed and in some of the companies we talk to, it's really more like 90-10. This has significant implications for business because you need to understand the data, you need to act on it, you need to think about not just the big customers you have today, but what would make big customers in the future and target those. And particularly, you need to turn this into some resource allocations that really put your best people over the customers that are really driving your growth.